All right, I'm going to talk about something else because that sucked. It's a lot of you in here. It should be a lot louder than that. So um, I guess I'm going to talk about who I'm going to bring up here. Um, this is probably like, this is maybe one of the first or second time, second or third time I've done this. I'm going to bring up a, uh, a local guy, not local, but here now. Um, and he's going to give you a few minutes and uh, make him feel good. Even if he's not funny, you can laugh at him, you know. I appreciate you do that for me all the time, like right now. Okay, anyway, let me please bring up Trey Young from Camp Roberts. Hello, hello. I'm a professional comic, as you said. How's it going? Uh, so yeah, my name's Trey Young. Uh, they have two other comics back there that are also, well, that are black, but, you know, I have a black name, so it kind of works. Uh, sure. Um, three quick facts about me. I lived in Alaska, which is fucking awesome. I, uh, I'm in the Army, you know, at Camp Roberts, and... Yeah. And uh, I'm also gay. So there's that. Oh, uh, you tease. <laughs> it's, it's definitely interesting being gay in the army because, you know, they recently repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Um, which, by the way, how many Obama supporters do I have out here? Yeah. All right, now I can tell some abortion jokes. I'm just killing. Abortion is never funny, unless the fetus survives, which is what my mom tells me. <laughs> Happy birthday, Trey. You survived. <laughs> Thanks, mom. You should have drank some more. So, so yeah, uh, growing up in Alaska was pretty interesting. Um, you know, a lot of people, like, in the lower 48s, this is what we call you guys, by the way, the lower 48s. Uh, a lot of people are like, you know, afraid of child abductors and stuff like that, you know, which is very, it's a real concern, you know, uh, some guy sitting in the van waiting to get the child, but in Alaska, that child is a 500 ton fucking death machine with claws and teeth that are just going to charge at you. Don't care if the mother's there, unless she has a 45, just pull it out, do three dead shots in the center of the chest and fucking crutches to the ground. You know, that's what I have to deal with. Sorry, you have child abductors. Ooh. Mine's gonna fucking eat me. We have bald eagles come from the sky taking our dogs. Shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, being gay in the army is pretty interesting. I run into some Navy guys every once in a while, and they're like, shut up, Navy. They're like, uh, you know, it's a new army. I'm like, bitch, it might be a new army, but it's the same old Navy. Fucking semen. <laughs> Tease me all you want. Even when I'm hitting a guy, I'm still like, hey there, sailor. How you doing? Uh, but I'm single now, which is great. I got a lot of time to watch Project One Way or whatever. Uh, but the moment when I, I knew that I was going to be single for a long time is when I crocheted my cat a hat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not a hat, a beret. And uh, I put it on, you know, finished knitting it, fucking put it on him, I'm like, that looks great. And then I just cried for hours. You are my life now. Let's go on a double date somewhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, this is awkward. I, I called my mom before the show, and she's like, give me some stand-up, give me some of your, give me your opening line. And I told her it, and she just sat there in silence for like five minutes. I'm like, 
Mom, are you still there? She's like, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, thanks, Mom. Awesome. You're the best. My mom was, my mom was really supportive. Uh, you know, she did have a little issue when I came out to her. But, uh, you know, she... She pulled me aside like a few years ago when I was like 17. She's like, Trey, I want you to know I love you so much. I would do anything for you. And when we, when we were living in this one area and you were like 10 years old, I was thinking about prostituting myself just to put food on the table. I thought, yeah, I know, it's hilarious. <laughs> Prostitution? My daydream. Uh... But she's like, you know, I would have done anything for you. I would have processed myself. So I was like, Mom, maybe you should have. I would have got a Game Boy a lot faster. <laughs> That's the reason why I didn't get an Xbox on my 12th birthday. Thanks. Not whoring out. Easy money. Yeah. So I don't have a drink. This is a problem. Because I'm an alcoholic, and I'm always like an alcoholic, like, on the weekend, and then during the week, I'm like, I'm going to get help. I'm going to stop this. But then I'm like, I haven't drank in days. Oh, I'm fine. And the weekend comes, I'm like, no, I'm an alcoholic again. Just kidding. I don't need AA. I just need another drink. So yeah, did he tell you this was my first time? <laughs> yeah. This is so much better than that trucker that was passing through St. Louis that picked me up. Damn. I'm just kidding. It was Kansas City. Even worse. He had no teeth, which was great. Ah. Uh, I know, I know, it's terrible. I should just stop. Me and my terrible gay jokes. Uh, the best part about geek being gay, besides the sex, is uh, fucking with my straight friends. Because all the time, I'm just like, hey, are you drunk enough yet? <laughs> They're like, stop that, or I'll stop drinking. And I'm like, thank you. You are so good at this. What's your name? Could you? <laughs> or, you know, like, I'll go over to a friend's house, and, well, when I was, you know, when I was younger, I'd go to a friend's house, and their dad would be hanging around, and I'd be, like, pulling him aside, and be like, dude, your dad's a filth. Like, what the, f what do you mean? I'm like, oh, father, I'd like to fuck. <laughs> and they're like, what the, f what is wrong with you? I'm like, it's been a long time. My standards are gone. <laughs> Just like everything else in life. I'm so nervous. My hands are all clammy. I bet I'd do the best hand job right now. <laughs> Self lubricating. Uh, eight minutes and fifty six seconds. That's right. You know how awkward it is when you go into a store and you buy lube and a condom and a summer sausage? <laughs> and just like, yeah, I'm watching Game of Thrones tonight. <laughs> that shit is awesome. Coming out 31st, that's my life now. Uh, what? what was that, sir? Nothing. You want to go compare mustaches in the bathroom? <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Anyways, uh... I'll leave, you, I'll leave you with this, a story from my childhood. Uh, when I was like eight, eight years old, mind you, eight years old, in Alaska, 
tundra wilderness, howling winds surrounding you. Um, my dad, he was the bus driver. We were in this little town called Ninana, and he was the bus driver, and we were the last stop. And so my dad, uh, we had this huge U-shaped fucking driveway, and my dad was an airborne ranger. So he always wanted me just like him. Oh, you're going to be airborne. Yeah, okay, Dad. Um, so we're driving around the fucking driveway. And we're going to phone call right now? Seriously? Turn it fucking phone Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Put it on. Uh, ooh. <laughs> there we go. Call again, telemarketer. <laughs> so... He's driving down the driveway, and uh, he looks to me and my brother, and he's like, you guys, when I come around to the house, you're going to jump out and roll away. I'm an eight-year-old fucking kid. And I'm like, okay, Dad, you never led me wrong before. I completely believe in you. So my brother jumps out, fucking rolls away. He's fine. I'm like, that was cool. I'm going to do that. So he comes around. Goes back to the U, fucking driving around me, and he's looking to me, he's like, are you ready, Trey? I'm like, yeah, Dad, let's do this. So, he's driving up to it, he's driving up to it, he's like, all right, jump and roll. So I jump, and I roll into the bus. (laughs) And my dad's like, oh, I got such an awesome son, I'm so proud of him. Do do, <laughs> and he's like, "What did I just do?" He fucking stops the bus, opens the door, runs out, looks to me. I'm on the ground. Oh, my legs! He fucking runs up to me, scoops me up like two scoops from Razor Brain Crunch. Fucking runs me into the house. He's like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" I'm like, "You're right over my legs, Dad." He's like, he's like. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but one thing, don't tell your mother. So yeah, that was my five minutes or whatever. (laughs) You guys were great. Yeah!